today we are going to be working on values of coins and that's because we're starting a new math unit on money <laughs> now I know you guys have found money maybe on the sidewalk or in the bottom of your couch or maybe under the seat in your car and whenever you find money I'm sure you get a bit excited and hopefully you save all the money that you find so today we're going to start by reviewing the names of some coins and their values and then we'll go on from there so the first one I want to review is the penny you learned about pennies last year in kindergarten and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them today I'll read about the other coins other days so these are pennies they are made out of copper and zinc which are two different kinds of metal and Abraham Lincoln is on the penny. And on the back of the penny, we have the Lincoln Memorial, which we saw pictures of in our lessons on Washington, D.C. That's a picture of the real Lincoln Memorial. Pennies are made by the United States Mint and the United States Mint is a part of the government. I actually went to one of the mints in Denver this last year. It was very interesting. Highly recommend if you ever go somewhere that has a mint. There aren't very many, but if you ever go to a city that has a mint, take a tour. It's a lot of fun. The United States Mint makes lots and lots of pennies every year. Now, a penny is worth one cent. Just one, one cent. It takes 100 pennies to make a dollar. Many people like to save their pennies and some people put their pennies in a bank. If you save your pennies, you can buy many things. The end. All right, so today we're reviewing the pennies and tomorrow I'll read to you about nickels and the day after that I'll read to you about dimes. But I do wanna review the value of nickels and dimes. So let's take a look at our poster and let's refresh our memory from kindergarten. Okay, so as you can see here at the top, we have the penny. It's worth one cent and here's the picture. This is actually an updated picture. This is what our pennies look like today. Um, here's a nickel. And this is Thomas Jefferson and Monticello on the back. I'm not going to get into those because we'll read about him tomorrow. Then um, we have something called the dime. And this is our smallest coin. It's only worth 10 cents. And you'll learn who this is in a day or two. And then this is the back of the dime. And here we have a quarter. We'll have a whole day for quarters later this week. And then down lower we have the half dollar and the dollar coin. These two coins we don't see in circulation very much, not as much as we as the others, but they're still important to know because they are a part of our currency. All right, let's get to our work today. So today we are looking at the value of coins. When you know the value of each kind of coin, you can find the value of a group of coins. So let me explain what that means. We learned that a penny is worth one cent. So we're gonna use our imaginations, put them on, put those imagination caps on, turn them on. Okay, mine's working, I hope yours is working. Okay, we're gonna imagine that these are each one penny. Okay, they're each one cent. And since we know a penny is worth one cent, if I had a group of pennies, I can add them up to find out how much the total value is. So let's practice. I know one penny is worth one cent. If I have a second penny, I know I have two cents. And if I have a third penny, I have three cents. Do you see what's happening? We're adding by ones every time we have a, add a penny. So in the end here, I have a total of five cents. All right, now we're gonna look at our nickels. You'll have to imagine that these are nickels and you can tell they're nickels because I put the number five inside. 
Do you remember when we were skip counting by fives and tens? It's gonna come in handy right now. So we know that the value of one nickel is five cents. But if I have two nickels, I have to count up another five. So let me think, I know it goes five, 10, what comes next? 15, then 20, then 25. So in total, when I have five nickels, I have a group of nickels, I know that I have 25 cents. Now you'll notice that all of these numbers have these symbols on them. That's because this is the cent sign. That means that it's less than a dollar. All right, let's go back to our next one. Here you see a circle with a 10 in it. Can you guess what that's supposed to be? A dime, good job. Yes, it's a dime because a dime is worth 10 cents. So I know that one dime is worth 10 cents. I'm gonna need to count by tens now to add up this group of dimes. All right, help me out. I've got 10, now I have 20, 30, 40, and 50. So in all, this group of dimes is worth 50 cents. Okay, I hope this made sense to you. Again, if you know the value of one coin, now you're able to add up a group of that kind of coin. If you don't understand something from this lesson, feel free to watch it again. But if you do, go ahead and check out your assignment on Seesaw. Thanks for watching. Bye.